The canal tells you stories. The canal sings you songs. They hang in that space between memory and water. One saw an arrowboat raised up like it was cutting through the air between two grass walls and the road below like it was sliding through history and a tiny vole swam across the water so a tiny vole swam through history. The canal tells you stories. The canal sings you songs. One saw a man floating belly up in a canal like he was in the bath. He shouted, this is the life, as I passed by on a narrowboat, the sky was reflected in the surface and we tied up in places the map never showed us, the man floating by, making ripples on the surface that hang in that place between memory and water. Once got waved at by a jogger as I stood gongoozling on the towpath, a running gave rhythm to the early afternoon, dog strollers and kids who'd rather be here than sitting in school. To gongoozle is to stand and watch narrowboats pass, and a canal is a lesson, a water-based school. The canal tells you stories, the canal sings you songs. Once these canals were information highways, if coal and iron can be information, and I think they can be, and there are bridges, pub gardens, the laughter of children as they walk by the water, and the canals turn us all into curious children that hang in that place between memory and water. Once is never enough for a canal, I reckon. You need to go back and see it again, and sail it again, and smell it again, and touch it again. Canals run through our veins like they stroll through this country, like blood through our veins. The canal tells you stories, the canal sings you songs that hang in that place between memory and water.